All right, today we're going to be looking at the microscope. We're gonna be looking at the light microscope because that's the main microscope that would be used in most microbiology type labs. So we're gonna talk about the different components of the microscope. We're gonna take a closer look at the different parts that you need to know um, about the different ways that they're used within microbiology. We'll also be able to look at how to actually focus the scope, some kind of rules on how we do that. And these rules really are helpful to help us prevent breaking slides. Especially in microbiology, you do a lot of staining and you don't want to break your slides in the process of trying to focus it and look at it because then you have to start all the way over, okay, with making your smears, with staining and all that again. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. We're also going to be looking at the different types of objectives or, or magnifications that we can use on a light microscope. So let's go ahead and get started with the parts of the microscope. Microscopes are used for magnifying objects that are too small to be seen with the naked eye. This compound light microscope has a power source. It plugs into the back of the microscope and the other end of course is going to plug in to the outlet. All right, now it's time to turn on the microscope. You'll notice though, when we turn it on, no light comes out of the illuminator. This is because there is a control on this side called the illuminator control that we have to turn up to allow the light to come through that source. We do see that all these structures are located on the base of the microscope. And we also see the microscope has an arm. Now these are the two areas that you will hold when you carry or transport a microscope. One hand on the base, one hand on the arm. This is a compound microscope, so it uses two sets of lenses. We have the ocular lenses located up here. They are gonna magnify an object times 10. So this is going to be where we're gonna multiply everything that we use objective-wise that's found here on the nose piece times 10 for the ocular. So on the nose piece, you're gonna notice we have four other objectives. These objectives do rotate. We see that the red objective is the scanning. It's going to be a times four magnification. So four times 10, which with the ocular would mean 40 times. The low power is going to magnify 10 times more. The high power here in blue is going to magnify 40 times more. And the oil immersion is the white and it's 100 times more. Now remember, you do have to multiply each of these by 10 for the ocular for the full magnification. All right, now we're moving on to the stage. The stage is where we place our specimen and it'll be held in place here by a clip. Now it's important that we make sure that the specimen is going to be located over the light source. The light source is condensed in order to control the amount of light through this structure called the condenser. The amount of light can be adjusted in two ways. One way here by the diaphragm, it adjusts the light by opening and closing a structure called the iris. Okay, so it adjusts the amount of light coming through. We can also adjust the light coming up through the specimen by moving the condenser up and down as well. Now, sometimes our specimen is not fully located where the light source is, and this will make it difficult to see. And so because of that, we're gonna have to adjust the stage in order to move the specimen. Now the stage can move up and down, and it can also move left to right with these knobs here. So we can move it up and down to move the specimen, but just note that if you're moving it up, we see that through the scope, it is actually moving down. It's the opposite. The same thing with right and left. If you're moving it to the right, in under the scope, it'll look like it is moving to the left. Now, there are two ways to focus our specimen. We can do this with the knobs located on the side. The larger knob here is called the coarse focus knob, and it rapidly adjusts the specimen into focus. And we would use this on the scanning and the low power objectives. The other knob, the small knob here, is the fine focus. The fine focus is slowly gonna adjust and it can be used on all of the objectives, but the fine focus is only used on the oil and the high objective. Otherwise, if you use the coarse objective, you will end up breaking your slides. All right, so let's take a look at how to use the microscope. We're gonna place our slide on our stage, securing it there with the clip. 
This particular slide has the letter E located on it, and we want to make sure that that E, which is our specimen in this case, is located directly over the condenser. Remember, the condenser is where the light is going to be focused. Now, that amount of light coming through the condenser can be adjusted by the diaphragm. We can move the diaphragm back and forth, and you're going to notice that this E is going to be the proper direction. It's not upside down. It's not backwards. And then we're going to turn our light source back up through the diaphragm. We are going to use the scanning objective here. Remember this multiplies or the specimen times four, but we also have the ocular, which is going to magnify it times 10. So four times 10 is 40 times. This E is going to be 40 times larger. We can then start the process of focusing our specimen. This is done using the course knob on the side. This moves the stage up and down. And remember, we only use that course focus knob when we are on the lower objectives, okay? The scanning and the low. We then will use the fine adjustment knob in order to be able to finely focus the specimen. Now looking through the eyepiece, you're gonna notice now that this E is upside down and backwards. Remember I told you that we see that it's the opposite when we're viewing it through the actual microscope. Now we could move the objective up to the low objective. If we do that, we can still use the course knob in order to focus, but you'll notice we don't have to use it very much because when we focus it, we see that a lot of times when we change to another lens, it's called parfocal, meaning that it's already almost focused for us. When we're ready to change slides, we need to move the stage all the way down and then remove the slide. All right, let's practice again, but in this case, we're gonna use a slide that has a blood smear. These specimens are a lot smaller. We're gonna again place the slide on the stage and secure it in place with the clip. Once it's secured, we wanna to move to where the specimen is located over the light source. Okay, again, located over the condenser. We're gonna use the scanning objective to focus first, and in this case, we can use that coarse focus knob in order to move the stage up and down rapidly to focus it pretty quickly. We're then going to move it up to the low objective. In this case, we can still use the coarse focus knob, but we need to be careful. As we get into this area, if we move the stage up too quickly, okay, utilizing it to where we move it too quickly up and down, we can end up breaking the slide. Okay, this is where the objective goes through the slide, and now this slide is ruined. It cannot be utilized anymore. All right, and this is what we want to try to avoid when we are using the light microscope, especially in the micro lab where we're gonna be preparing these slides and the process of making them and staining them is pretty drawn out. So we have to start over. We'll have to get a different blood smear slide and we have to start the process over again. Again, using the scanning objective, moving that up and down, we then can move to the low power. On the low power, we can use the course objective, but we need to be very careful doing so. The fine focus is what will be important, okay? Now remember, if we're moving to the higher objectives, the high and the oil, we cannot use that course adjustment knob. That's where the breaking of the slide will definitely occur. So we only can utilize the fine adjustment, which is the smaller knob in those cases. Now remember, when we move between these objectives, if we focused it on the one before, we won't have to do much focusing because it's called parfocal. But we may need to do our field of view adjustment by moving the stage a little bit in order to get our specimen underneath the scope. Again, we can also adjust the light source coming through by adjusting the diaphragm or moving the condenser up and down. But again, be careful moving that condenser because it could put more pressure on the slide. So let's look at the blood under the scope. In this particular case, this is when it's at 40 times on the scanning. We then want to magnify it to where it's at the 100 times, which would be the low power. And then we can get even closer when we go to the high power, where we're looking at it being 400 times larger. When we are ready to remove the slide, we need to move it back to the scanning objective, put our stage all the way down, and then take the slide off of the stage. 
All right, so now let's look at how we use oil immersion. We may need to clean the slide first before we utilize this because oil may have been left behind and so we can use lens paper in order to do that. Once we're done, we're gonna place our slide on to our stage. Now we have to be careful sometimes with slides like this, you'll notice it has a cover and so we have to be extra careful when using that coarse um, focus knob. Now, again, we're always going to start on the scanning and we're going to first go through the process of getting it focused there. Now, it's not going to appear very large when we look at it under the scanning objective. Once we have it focused, remember we can use the coarse focus knob as well as the fine focus knob here in this case because it is the lowest objective. So now let's move to the low objective. When we do this, remember if we're gonna focus, we can use the coarse, but we also are going to use the fine focus. Be very careful on how you use the coarse focus knob because again, we wanna make sure we're not breaking the slide. Once we get it focused on this particular objective, we can move on to the next. Now we're gonna move to the high objective. In this case, we want to make sure that we do not use this coarse focus knob. We are only going to use the fine focus knob in order to bring it into focus. Now remember, we may have to adjust the stage just a little to get our specimen back into the field. Now we're going to move it up into the oil immersion. As we do this, we're going to end up using a little bit of oil like we see here. We're going to place it directly on to the slide. So we're gonna move the nose piece in order to put the two objectives on each side of where the light's coming through. We're now gonna add the oil directly on to the slide and we're gonna place it right where that light is coming up through the condenser. Now we only wanna make sure that the oil is used on the oil objective, not on the high objective, so we need to be careful not to contaminate that particular objective. We place the oil on and now we're going to move the nose piece to where the oil objective is going to come in contact with that oil. This allows us then in order to have that oil immersion. We need to be careful on how we adjust again here, only using the fine focus knob in order to make sure that we do not break the slide. Also using that course of coarse focus knob would also cause the break to happen between the oil and the objective, defeating the purpose of using oil immersion. So we're gonna use the fine focus knob in order to get it focused. So we were looking at oscillatoria here. This one is at the 400 times at the high objective. We also then see it underneath the oil immersion where it's at a thousand times. We can see more detail in this particular case. All right, so now we're ready to clean up our microscope and get it ready to be put away. So we're going to move the stage down. We're going to remove the slide. You can notice on the slide that the oil is still on there and we want to remove that. Now we would take lens paper in order to do this. We would then rub that oil off onto that lens paper, cleaning the slide. Now this slide we can do this with because it does have a cover on the specimen. So the specimen does not get removed when we take the oil away. If this had been a prepared slide that you made that didn't have a cover, we would want to make sure not to do this because it would also remove the specimen as we clean it. Now we also want to make sure that we clean the scope itself. So we're going to take some lens paper and we're going to clean off the oil objective removing any excessive oil that is left behind from being used okay then we are going to get a different set of lens paper and we're going to make sure that we clean off the other objectives just making sure that they are clean no oil potentially got on them We'll also clean off the ocular areas where our eyes went and making sure that those are clean. And we'll also check the stage and any other areas to see if any of the oil or residue is present. And cleaning off all of those areas. All right, so now we're going to get the scope ready to put up. We're gonna turn the power off. We're going to also scroll the illuminator control all the way down. 
we're going to wrap the cord around the base of the microscope. Like when we carry the, the microscope, remember we're going carry to this. carry it on the sure arm with one hand, and we are going to put our other well hand on the base. Be careful if you've been using it a while because it could be hot due to the light source. Most of the time, scopes are also going to have a cover on them to help protect them. So make sure that you put that cover back on and then place the scope back where it is. So I hope this little video kind of helps you become more familiar with the parts of the microscope, helping you be able to identify them, but also potentially successfully use them without, without breaking slides because this is the point we want to avoid this idea of breaking our slides by using the microscope properly with the fine accord, the coarse adjustment knob as well as the fine adjustment knob. All right, so if you have any questions or concerns, please let me know.